There is a light at the end of the tunnel. Just two to three more games remaining in this Netrunner tournament, the Philadelphia, Pennsylvania Regional Championships of 2014. July 19th is when it took place at Red Caps Corner Gaming Emporium. I'm Scott. I'm the host of a podcast called Geek Nights, and I was at this tournament. I did not make it in even into the elimination rounds, but these players did. On the right, the second seed, Jesse, with Gabe as his runner. And on the left side is Ben with NBN Making News as his corporation. I didn't mix up making and breaking news this time. It is game number 29. Whoever wins this game has the right to face Dan, the winner of the winner's bracket. Then they must defeat Dan twice in a row in order to become the champion. If Dan wins either of his two remaining games, he will be the champion. If you want to see Dan's previous game, the only video of Dan uh, before this one... <laughs> is game 27 with his Replicating Perfection deck. I'm sorry it took a long time to make these videos. That's just life. Maybe if you guys give me a zillion dollars such that you know I can pay rent, uh, I can just make Netrunner videos all day. But I can't. All right, MBN. Making news. Ice is up. Take some money. Gabe going for HQ because that's what he do. And a Draco. Zero strength Draco. I don't know. I mean, I guess you have to slow Gabe down. If that's the ice he got, that's the ice he got. And the trace is pretty strong against him. But here's the problem. So that's a base strength of two on that trace using the identity ability. Boost it to four. Gabe has to pay four for that. He has no link. That's more expensive than paying two credits and a click to just take the tag and then remove it. But, of course, that'll end your run on a Draco. Uh, the thing is, Gabe's going to get two credits when he gets in because he's Gabe. So he's really, you know, he's paying four to beat the Trace, then he's getting two back. So he's basically getting through that Draco for two credits. And then if he runs it again, he's getting through it for two credits because the identity ability is already used up for that. The recurring credits are used up on that turn already. Uh, I don't think you're going to start using your real credits to boost it. Oh, okay. He just, yeah, I wouldn't have res that Eli either, but he was forced to by a forge, so good idea. But Gabe doing a good job of hurting the runner's economy. The fact that he had, you know, you couldn't put that Eli on HQ, I guess. That's the right move the because Gabe will just click through that all day with an account siphon or who knows what. The Draco is a little bit sturdier with a subroutine that actually fires. Uh, and if the the trace does fire, you can dump all your money and they have nothing to siphon. And in uh, Dirty Laundry double click, I guess the, the fact that you're getting the Dirty Laundry makes up for the double click that you're l losing to break Eli. Thing about the zero strength Draco is you just know it's going to get parasited to death. Um, I like to make, you know, if I'm defending against a criminal, I got to make that Draco big and strong, right? I don't want to res it until they play Siphon, if possible. In this case, obviously, it wasn't possible because you had Gabe there. Um, but make it big and strong. That way, they can't get rid of it. And if they ever try to run HQ, the subroutine will fire, giving you the option to dump your money. Of course, dumping all your money <laughs> is a problem as well because you need that money to fast advance. If you just keep dumping all your money, then... Oh, there's the Parasite bright and early. Gabe with a no ice HQ. Oh, no. Free reign on HQ for Gabe. It doesn't look good. Doesn't look good. Account Siphon. That was a click three account siphon. Click one was Parasite and click two... Uh, what was click two? Was it draw parasite? What happened there? That was definitely a click three account siphon. So he has the two tags there. 
I don't know if I would take two tags against a, uh, you know, he has to keep at least one of them if he doesn't remove one with his final click. The question here is what kind of tag punishment, you know, if you're running Draco uh, and making news, there's probably at least a closed accounts in the deck, at least, if they play closed accounts after you account siphon. He's got 15 credits there. Closed accounts would not be good. He's keeping the tags. Ooh, keeping the tags. Is there a closed accounts coming? Data Raven. Okay, so this deck definitely has tag punishment. If you got Data Raven, you have tag punishing cards. Why is the runner so casually keeping those two tags? The only way keeping the oh, see, okay, he ended the run of the Data Raven, so <laughs> that's not the best. That's a good idea because now. Closed accounts is still a threat. Oh, this is good. Okay, so closed accounts, if you spend all your money on that fem before they can play closed accounts. Yep, only four credits left. Yeah, go ahead and close my four credits. All right, you fem that data raven. Now you're not going to get a pile of tags, right? So two tags, if they don't have scorch, not a big deal. They probably have closed accounts, but you can if you can find a way just to like keep your money low so it's never worth it to play closed accounts but still get accesses. Closed accounts isn't a problem, even if you keep the tags. But the worry is psychographics. So as long as you don't get buried in tags, psychographics is no big deal either. They can't, you know, they get a psychographics for two, go ahead. Uh, well, actually, psychographics are two. I mean, if you, you can install advanced psychographics and Astro Script and score it. So I would go down to one tag if I was worried about psychographics, and I would go down to zero tags if I was worried. I don't think he's worried about Scorch. Scorch doesn't look likely. And, does, you know, no one's going to close accounts to you unless you build up a ton of cash. I think when he ran HQ, he saw the NAPD and, and put it back. He only had five credits, didn't want to go down to one. He yeah, figures he can just score it later. Data Sucker is out. And Gabe can get into HQ for basically a credit. More HQ defense. Actually, you know, with that Data Raven situation, Gabe could run HQ for one, get two, <laughs> run HQ again, spending one, and break even. <laughs> so you really do need extra protection there now. No, no res. All right, now he's taking the NAPD. I like taking the NAPD there. Uh, you got some data suckers. You still have two credits afterwards. You still got some clicks left in the turn. D res the Eli. Run R and D. Yeah, if you're gonna if he's gonna res the Eli, he's going down to one credit. Forge, oof, loves those forges. Yeah, that ice you didn't res when I ran, throw it out. Mr. Four Credits. Like 
Well, thanks to Hedge Fund, MBN has some money now. Gabe keeping his money at one. No reason to play closed accounts. Making two remotes. And drawing a card afterwards. Probably should have drawn first. Having him a think. Well, one of those is probably Sansan. Very good move by NBN to install Sansan when uh, the runner has one credit. Ran the Eli. Uh, is he, du he double clicked it, I'm guessing. All right. Oh, no, he ended the run and went to HQ instead. Now he's checking the remote. It's, what is it? It's Howard. But the runner only has two credits, so you don't have to use that, Howard. Uh, you can't trash it. But it looks like he's going to use it anyway. I would have made him run, you know, unless I really, if I wanted to put those cards into my... R&D, I would have just done it at the beginning of my turn. Uh, maybe just didn't look that, you know, this is super late at night when this game happened. Probably past midnight. People have been playing so many rounds all day. But yeah, runner only had two credits. You didn't have to use Howard right there. And he runs to look at the sand sand, make sure that it is indeed a sand sand, knowing he can't trash it. All right, can the runner can't even score with that sand sand. He can use six credits to res it, but he does not have enough money to score anything, and I don't even see an agenda to score in the hand. Not that I can see the whole hand very well from this video. I see a fast track in there for sure. You could just try to take enough money to get up to... Sansan -san usage levels, but then you have to wor worry about. All right, so Sweeps Week brings the money up. But an account siphon can bring it right back down. Ooh, there's a breaking news. He's already tagged, so. Oh, there's an Astro script. Uh, hedge fund, there you go. So even if he siphons, it doesn't look like he can siphon more than once. If he had siphons, he probably would have played them already, so he'd have to draw one, or he's been holding on to one. Unlikely, he's got two. So if he siphons, he'll get two more tags, which is great for your psychographics. Uh, closed accounts will suddenly be worth playing. And even if he siphons once, he'll still have nine, which is enough to score the Astro Script with the Sand Sand. So go ahead and play your account siphon. Just don't play two of them. If you, if you do play two, the the Astro might get stolen. Okay, here's the account siphon. Is he going to remove any tags? He's up at four tags now. That means you can just install psychographics in any PDE. Uh, but because he siphoned and got money from the siphon before closed accounts could be played, he had enough money to trash the sand sand. That's very, very good. So even though he's, he's like, okay, you got money to use sand sand, but you don't have sand sand. So good luck using that money. What are you going to spend it on? Install psychographics Astro script. Yep. And is there another click remaining? 
or did he install it? He either install advanced as, uh, psychographics or ins uh, there's no reason not to install psychographics and use the other click for something, at least taking a credit, if nothing else. Goes to R&D, double clicks, doesn't see anything. I guess now that the Astra has been scored, he's got a, you know, he doesn't have any R&D pressure cards, at least not on the table, no interfaces or anything. He's got to do his best to make sure an Astra script is not drawn. If an Astra script is drawn on second or third click, it can't be immediately scored unless the corp gets another psychographics, which so... Uh, that mean, and he'll have an opportunity to run HQ then to try to get it. So if the corp draws more than one card, but more than their mandatory draw, then run HQ a bunch to see what those cards were. And, ooh, look at that. Parasite with all those data cycles that have been building up and never got cleared. Eli is gone. Yep, I will make sure you do not draw... Anything that you can score. Agenda drawing is not allowed. Oh, with the fast track in hand, uh, if he gets a psychographics, he can fast track psychographics and astro script and have two astro tokens. This can get hairy fast. All right, new ice and R&D might be able to, even if it's like a wraparound, that would be beautiful. Did Rapper was Wraparound out when this tournament happened? It might have been. I think it might have been. Oh, man, there's another Astro script right on top of R&D, just coughing it up. Howard going down. Doo. Oh, Beal comes out. No, oh, 6 to 2. Oof, R&D betrayal. Betrayal of R&D. And there was another Astro. So all three Astros have appeared. Even though the runner is at six, it's not over yet. We saw breaking news in hand. If the Corp can just get a Beal in hand or something and score it, or a Psychographics, Fast Track Psychographics, next turn breaking news, uh, that's actually what the Corp would really like to see, would be a Psychographics. Because Fast Track Psychographics, shuffle up R&D, Corp basically, uh, the runner has one turn to get an agenda from somewhere. If they don't get it, that breaking news is in hand already. Boom, it's over. Oh, look at this. The runner's spending time on Armitage. While tagged, do you trash that Armitage and play closed accounts? And then maybe res your ice? Giving you just enough time to make it happen? You got enough money to make it happen now with the hedge fund. Yeah, trash in the Armitage, goodbye. It's going to be a tiny, tiny window, but that's all you need to score those three points. Oh, they ran R&D, and there's an NAPD. With 12, oh, he had the winning agenda. He had the Beal and the breaking news in hand. It was two turns away from winning. Oh, that's the problem. The R&D ice was a shadow. It would have done nothing. No point in resing it. It would have done absolutely nothing. Oh, uh, uh, there was Enigma on HQ, though. So that would have actually helped a lot, but yeah. I mean, I guess you needed that there. Oh, R&D coughs it up. 